Look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side of life. If life's too jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten. That's the laugh of smiling. That- so in '93, I was sentenced to a prison. I have no reason to lie. So I was sentenced to prison anyway. I went to Chelmsford Prison, where I spent, I think it was a period of two months. I worked in the kitchen at Chelmsford, and after two months, I was sent to an open prison, uh, Stamford Hill, in Kent. Yes, Kent, Bernard. I went there. I wasn't even handcuffed when I left Chelmsford. I was taken in a taxi, an officer and a taxi driver, and I was taken to Stamford Hill, which is an open prison. Whoever had been to Stamford Hill, we know they were building things out on in, in the villages. So, yes. So when I got there building, that's where I had Craig, would come down once a month for me and drop me off with little parcels, tobacco, a bit of cash, and a bit of the other gear that I could make money on. So there was always a few nice pills going about and some cannabis. So I was never short and I had an easy life. And there at Stanford Deal, uh, used to come out the block, walk down, Come out, turn left, walk down, it led you to the canteen and the back of that was a big, huge football pitch. Yes. And I used to go running every night around the football pitches, keeping fit, because I was a good runner. I didn't go gym, bodybuilding, that sort of thing there. And Craig used to come and see me uh, every two weeks, sometimes every six weeks, when he found time. I'm not going to lie and say he was a frequent visitor, because it wasn't. Well, one day he come down with... Uh, Mark Randall to see me, knowing that I was due for uh, home leave soon, and he said he'd come and get me, pick me up. But he never did. I get the train home anyway. He come and see me, and I think he must have been on something because he was all a little bit out of his head. Because when he left me, he decided to get in his uh, XR three. I am a Mark. Go onto the lawn and start wheel spinning, and then drive off. And the governor of the prison was not happy. So that was me spending three days down the fucking block because of my idiot brother. So for- what year would this have been? This was, well, I, I went to prison 94. So... The cars that the police said they were going to get off with me for the drugs, they didn't. I went to prison. So while I'm in prison, Michael's in prison. So we went to Chelmsford and we got a job in the kitchen. Michael did and I did. So after dinner, we get locked up. So we come out of the cells and locked up. And there's a big notice board, a big black and white board on there. And on the board, it says, Brian Rolf, you fucking grass on the board. So I'm saying to myself, who's fucking put that? So I said, Mark, have you done that? I ain't done it, no. Are you telling people I'm the grass? No, I ain't said anything. I said, well, what's that on the fucking board then? I said, I'm in prison. So I rubbed off the board and there's a couple of lads down there laughing their head off. I said, do you put it on there? No, we ain't done it, mate. Well, said someone, it's only kitchen staff and if someone's put it on, no, we ain't done it, mate. So that was it. I thought, fucking hell. And out of the blue, screw come and got me. He said, he said uh, you got a solicitor's visit. So I said, okay. So I thought, what for? I ain't, I ain't got an appeal going or anything. So I went to this room, Essex Drug Squad there, sitting there saying, look, we can help you. Soft prison, get out of here, do your time, new start. You work for us when you come out. So I said, no, no, I'm not doing it. No, I'll do my time. So he goes to me, he goes, uh, has your name been on the board in there? I said, yeah, why? He said, oh, they think you're a grassy, didn't you? I said, yeah. He said, you better go and rule 43 then. I said, you don't give me no fucking choice, do you? On the numbers? No, not on numbers. I went to open prison. So the next day I was shipped out to Olsey Bay. Ah, okay. I said I'd help them, so I went to open prison. So I went to open prison, uh, done my time there, 94. That's why I never met Pat Tate. So I come out 
end of 94, 95, I'm working for the police. The police have got me now. I owe them big time. So you were in prison in 94? Yeah, I went down for the car because I wouldn't plant the drugs on them. Yeah, I got two years at Chelmsford Grand Court. So I went, to, <laughs> I went to Chelmsford Prison. My brother Michael was in there for the cannabis. So when I got there, uh, Michael was working the kitchens. The officer said, do you want to work in the kitchens with your brother? So I said, yes, I work in the kitchens. So I worked in the kitchens. We had a joint cell. There must have been about, say, seven cells on that landing. And it was just all kitchen staff. So in the kitchen and then one day, dinner time, you get locked up for a, an hour and you go back in the kitchens and there's a big blackboard in front of, in front of the cells. So I've come out the cell and it's on the blackboard, Brian Rolf, you fucking grass. And I'm amazed. I'm looking at this thing, panicking. Who's fucking put that on there? Who's put this? So I turned around to Michael. I said, you put that on the thing? He said, I'll do it. I've been with you in here. I said, how's that going? It's like, I'm there rubbing it off, quit rubbing it off. And the lads are laughing. I'm rubbing it off. And I'm like, so lads, did you put it on there? No, we ain't put it on there. No, no, none of us are putting it. So someone's putting around in chance of prison, which you can't do, but I'm a police informer. Writing it on blackboard so people walk past on the landing and see it. Fucking Brian's a police informer. So I said to the officer, look, I'm not having this put me in the cell. I was scared. So I put me in the cell. And then a day later, the officer's come and got me. And said, uh, your solicitor's here to see you. So they took me out and I'm walking out and I could hear little remarks, grass, grass, grass. And I know my life is in fear now because I need to take someone walking with a, a load of hot boiling water sugar in it or a blade of sand and I, I'm done for something that I ain't done yet. So I've gone to the, this room, we've gone to a room and who's sitting there? Gary Duckrell again. He said, uh, we've had, we know about the uh, the ball business who said we can uh, we can help you move you to an open prison this is all it's all on record I'm not going to lie move you to open prison get you out of here yeah please yeah get me out of here fucking hell get me out quick he said but when you come out you work for us you all pass out yeah yeah no problem get me out get me out get me out so that was it I was shipped out next day to open prison and I went no one knew me I got on my life I come out of prison uh, January I think it's Second week in January, uh, I went back to my flat. It was destroyed. All my belongings were gone. Uh, that all sold. Mother sold the lot. So I had nothing. So I started from scratch again. So when I went to prison, I, I, I come out. Did they, they ever question going to an open straight away? Did anybody ever question that? No one knew. No one knew where I went. Like, I was ghosted. Michael didn't know I went. Did you not have any visitors? No, not in this one. I went straight there, done my time, and come out. Did you get any letters from Craig or anything? No, no, no not not this one. No, for not. I didn't let no one know where I was. Because how am I going to explain? I've just been shipped to an open prison. One minute I've, I've gone to see Cilicia, my, my gear's still all in the cell, and then next day I'm being ghosted out. So no, I didn't say anything. So then you put in my first so-called post... When I arrived on the scene, I claimed I got seven years for selling pills pills with Murray in Rack Hills. Now, I've never said I got seven years. The most I ever got was two. So please put online where I've said I've got seven years in prison for selling pills in Rack Hills. I'll be fucking quite fascinated to see this one. So then you also say, I also claim I didn't go to the murder trial because I was doing seven years. I didn't go to the murder trial. I was working in Barry and Furness. So where you're getting these seven years from, I don't know. I, I, I put up me previous. Everyone's seen it. I'll do it again for me too. I was sentenced in the uh, end of uh, 93 and I was in prison 94. And I come out just the start of 95 and I was around for a few months and I fucked off again. You with me? So... Where you're getting this seven years prison sentence from, please put it up and line and show everyone. Or are you just lying again? Because I know you are. And you keep putting your little remarks on Terry's uh, show about uh, these seven years. So let, let's see the seven years. Always look on the bright side of life. 
Always look on the bright